Hey guys, welcome to the 12th or 13th Java tutorial. I'm not completely sure. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you about arrays. So let's get started. Go into Eclipse, and if you haven't um, understood, if you didn't understand the last tutorial and you got stuck, um, go back to that tutorial because you're going to want to learn that like really good because that's really useful. You might not, use, it's not useful that much now, but it will be later. I use it all, I use uh, nested um, uh, um, for loop, loops all the time. So, anyway, let me teach you about an you know, array. So, to declare one, what you do is you type in the type. So, I'm going to do string. I'm going to call it name, and we're going to set it, e then we you put the, um, two of these brackets, the, these ones, and you uh, put equals new string, then two more brackets, then a, um, then a, um, semicolon. And you put, um, the number, the, um, number of the array, that, how much, uh, strings it's going to hold. So basically, let me tell you what this does. This array, um, how is it? This array, it, so it's a string type, it's called name, it equals a new string, and it holds five. So what I mean by it holds five is, let me just show you. So it holds five strings. That's what I mean, it holds five strings. So you can set these strings uh, equal to something like this, name, the number of the array, so like it, um, it starts out zero, one, two, three, four. So we want to use the uh, string zero, and we'll set it equal to uh, Bob. Then you do the same thing, name one equals um, one minute name two equals um, Ruby. Name three three equals um um blah. <laughs> oh yeah anyway um so now oh we make one more two name um blah equals to be groups. so anyway you um these are all the names. And so we have the um we have a uh, five we have five of them so this holds basically it's like it's like making five strings but you don't have to do string name one equals then like string name two equals it saves up space and memory. So that's how you do that, and um, you uh, let's print this out. We do our uh, name zero. And then we'll just run the program. It prints out Bob. Then we do name one equals Dolan. Name two equals Ruby. Three equals and and four equals do be please. So computers like to start at one zero to um till the um max number minus one. So like if it's five, we want to start at zero to four. Or if it's like um four, it would do like zero to three. So there is another way you can declare them to if you know the names right away. You can declare it like this. Instead of put in equals new array, you put you put uh, two brackets. You put the name. You put the name you want. So let's do Bob. Then you put um one of these. Then you um put another one, and you put like hi. Uh, then you do like. And that's how you keep making them. So now this would be equal to, so this would be the array 0, this would be the array 1, this would be the array 2, this would be the array 3. So now let's, let me show you how to put these out. So we have still the name 1, 
Command two. Command three. Oops, I forgot name zero, I think. Name zero. So, an array is, all it is, is it's something that, um, it's, it holds more than one, um, variable. That's basically all it is. So it will hold, in this case, it will hold four variables, and they're all called name, but you call them differently, like name, name zero, that's how you would call it, and like, for Bob, and like two, I mean one for Hive, and like two for GD, and three for GS. And that's how you use an array. These are really useful if you use, if you're making like, play an inventory for a video game or like something, and you know the amount of slots you want to have, or if you have like a list of names, or like something like that. It's really useful because you don't have to do a uh, string name one equals then string name two equals and like all that. So once again, we have a main method. When you hit the run button, this will run. They will run the main method. Then we have an array. Then this is how you declare it name the type name brackets equals a new uh, type uh, then brackets then the, the amount of variables you want to have then semicolon or you can do um, brackets then um, uh, uh, quotes if it's a string if it's a number you do uh, the number then you put a um, this then you do high then you keep just repeating that and it will be assigned to the one, so like this one be, will be assigned to zero, this one will be assigned to one, this one will be assigned to two, this one will be assigned to three. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you understood it good. I'm going to be teaching you how to loop through this in array with um, uh, using a loop really fast. Thanks for watching, uh, comment, like, and sub, bye.